Want to make the most of your day in Zurich in 24 hours? From iconic landmarks to hidden gems and discover the ultimate must-see attractions? Want to experience the vibrant energy of this Swiss city like never before? Join me on this one-day exciting itinerary. Before diving in, please smash the like button and subscribe to my channel. The first place I saw was the railway station, the biggest one even seen, with more than 60 platforms. As one of my passions is the history, especially the modern and contemporary one, I crossed the station and reached the Schweizerisches Landes Museum, whose location was a medieval castle. The history museum was really interesting, really interactive. I spent almost two hours to visit it. If you love history, this is the right place for you. Immediately outside the Landis Museum, you find the gardens that end where the Limit River divides itself from the Schill River before flowing into the Zurich Sea, Lake of Zurich. The district at the right side of Limit River is the financial area of the city, with the dark gray stock exchange, the fourth of the world, some skyscrapers, and the Bahnhofstrasse, the center of the shopping area with luxury brands and the unfailing Swiss jewelries, a quiet place close to the stock exchange that seems to be a protected area far from the city chaos is the old botanic garden with also this curious water polo pool. Walking along Bahnhofstrasse, then you reach the area of Lindenhof, a sort of big terrace good to take some nice pictures, and especially the most famous cathedral of Zurich Grossmünster. From Lindenhof, you get to the oldest church, St. Peter, with one of the largest clocks of the world, built in 857. The big surprise was to find in such an old church Baroque decorations. After that, you cross a district with little streets and colored houses to reach another important landmark, the Fraumünster Church, originally a monastery for women and now property of the city with its cloister. Then you get to the Burkeplatz, where the Limit River flows into the Zurich Sea. Unfortunately, the weather was not that good, otherwise the sightseeing would have been fantastic. Lake, hills, and mountains. Going to the left side of the limit, you get to the most beautiful part of the city. The first thing you can see is the opera house, the theater. Going from the opera towards the main station, you find little streets like this. And then the Romanesque Grossmünster Cathedral, with the famous two neo-Gothic towers, the church on the water, Wasserkirche, and the town hall, Rathaus. A patisserie you should go, but it's really expensive, is the Café Schober with fantastic suites and an inner decorated room. Beyond this, the Niedersdorf starts and is the real heart of the old Zurich. Plenty of bars, restaurants, and pubs populated by crowds of people. Another nice place to go is the Neumarkt, surrounded by nice houses, little restaurants, and with a fountain in the middle. Unfortunately, I could not experience the nightlife of Zurich, but for sure the city has demonstrated to be similar to London, trendy, tolerant, and opened. In fact, Zurich hosts the street parade, where hundreds of thousands of people join of one the biggest techno, house parties in the world, or the Zurich Pride Week. Have you been to Zurich? Please leave a comment, subscribe, and if you appreciate the content, buy me a coffee to support the channel. And do not miss the most beautiful city of Switzerland, Lucerne.